Hello everybody, I got a beer review here of four different beers I haven't done uh, in a while or haven't done before at all. Um, especially these two and this one I'm not sure. I think I've done both of these. I might have, not sure on that one, but these two for sure I've not done at all. I want to throw them in the picture. Um, when you Google them, or you even try to find a YouTube video on these two in particular, you don't see as much. Neither with these as well, so that's kind of a reason why I chose all these. Um, and they're quite similar, you know, they're all the same laggers. No Pilsner or anything like that. This is the Pale Ale, but uh, it's pretty close to a lager. Um, all 5%. Um, yeah, I think it would be a really good view since they're all kind of similar. It's not going to be like <laughs> Coca-Cola versus um, ginger ale or anything like that. You know, you've you got something kind of similar. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go with down here and move on down and I'm going to go with color and smell and all that good stuff. Here's the kokanee. That blue going on here. Already. Great Western classic. these glasses I can put them right like that and I'll dri keep dripping not these ones a little wide head yet alrighty oops sorry. and original 16 pair of ale can tell they look pretty much the exact same color but then again they're not a it's you know it's not a IPA it's not a Pilsner all laggers so it's kind of typical for them to be that way and they're all filtered as well so they're not the non-filtered ones all right anyways okay I'm gonna go down with this company It's got some grassy kind of smell to it. It's got those hop smells. It's got the malt. I'm, I've noticed with coconut, it's not as sweet as some of the other ones. For me, at least. Hmm. This one does, yeah, the, the Labatt Blue and coconut for sure do have two different smells. This one kind of smells I think it's a little bit more malty, a little less of the hop, and uh, same with that sweetness, not as sweet as some other beers I've had. Classic. This one smells different than the rest as well. This one has more of a, kind of a, a bit of a sour note to it. It's really pleasant though, very nice. From the same person uh, who makes this, 
which is the original 16. This is more, I guess, the more premium uh, selection. Pale ale, more sweet, sweeter than the rest of these, I'd say. Um, that hop as well, kind of burst out a bit more than, than I'd say the rest. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm gonna go with uh, Kokanee, try that one out, see how she goes. And you know, like I said before, it wasn't as sweet. The smell, it's kind of coming off on the taste. It's not as sweet, that coconut. Like I said, some beers. And what I'm meaning by some beers, um, like if you were to get uh, EDD from Big Rock, I find they're a little more sweeter. Um, Budweiser to me, tastes a little sweeter. These ones are more malt for it as well. And Gonna go with the blue here. <clears throat> with that blue, it's kind of like this one, like I said before, it's not the sweet as well. It's not as sweet, this little bat blue, but I notice you know, the whole figure of smooth. This one kind of goes down there. And what I mean by smooth, it's just easier to drink. It's, um, you know, not a whole lot of anything um, clawing. Where this one does have it, but it's, that's a hop. And I kind of like that. Where this one, I just, the uh, hop isn't there as much. and. Some people they like it, some people they don't. But these two are really nice. Really nice. I'd say this one has more of a beer taste to it than this one. But the Labatt is smooth. Alright. Great Western class. You know, this one's actually a bit more sweeter than these two. It's classic, which is surprising me. I always thought it wasn't a sweet, but it does have kind of a sweet taste to it. The malt sweetness, not corn or anything like that. Neither of these, they all have kind of that malt sweetness. But then, again, like I was saying, a lot of these are actually coming off the way that they smell, which is pretty nice. Not deceiving or anything. They're quite forward on what they smell based on what they taste like. Um, this one right here has more of that kind of sour note to it. Um, and that kind of came off in the smell as well. And the last one, but not least, original 16. comes off now um, after you have it in your throat a bit and you kind of really taste those hops as they kick in from the pale ale. Um, <clears throat> sweetness too. Like I was saying before, the sweetness is a little bit more in this one. Well, you can taste it. <sighs> it's tough. You know, if I was going to rate these all, these are like neck and neck between each other. And it's also preference, like what little things that you like, you pick up on, like no different than a person buying a bourbon versus a scotch versus whatever. Because, you know, some people, when they just start up and they say, you know, what's the difference between this whiskey and that whiskey? Well, it's those little things that really make up for it. 
no different than your liking Pepsi versus Coca Cola. It's those little things that make up for it. Um, so I think this is tough. Reading exactly which one is better. Oh, this is a hard one. I've never been in a situation like this before where they're it's literally tasting different well waters that are close by each other and having a taste of that little difference. That's almost what I feel where I'm putting it to. Um, I would say I'll go with Leading down this one first, I would say the best tasting for me was no. Yeah, I'll go Kokanee, then the bat, then classic, then the original sixteen. And I know you might think the original 16, this is supposed to be more of the, the premium beer. And like I said, these are all so close. I'm not going to just say, get this one, avoid this one. I would never do that because they're still all so good. I would drink all these. You offered me these, I wouldn't be like, ugh. I'd drink them all. Every one of them. But... If I had to choose, and that's pretty much where I'm putting myself to, if I had to, this is where I would start from here to down. Um, but then again, I, like, I, I just don't want to confuse you. I don't want you to think, don't try this. This is still amazing. It's in my fridge for a reason. I don't buy crap. And if I do, I'll put a review on it, and then you can, <laughs> you can tell me otherwise. But any news? That's where we're going with. That's it. That's all. Hope you enjoyed it.